Hello friends! My name is Shayla and today I am here to let you know that I am participating in Booktubeathon. It starts next week on the 18th and I believe it ends the 24th. I'll have the dates down below as well as the lovely Ariel Bissette who is the creator of Booktubeathon. I will have her channel as well as the Booktubeathon channel all down below so you can get all of the information there. So I've created my TBR based on the book challenges that Ariel put out. Again, that's on the Booktubeathon channel, so you can check out all of that. I will be explaining what the challenges are and how I plan on doing them, but it is not how you have to do them. <laughs> you can participate however you want, and that's part of what I love about Booktubeathon. It is all about community and coming together. So let's hurry and get this TBR on the way. So the first challenge is a book with yellow on the cover, and for that one I am reading Flipped by Wendelin Van Drainen. It's a nice little short middle grade novel that's just supposed to be a super cute little contemporary, and I am excited to finally get to this so I can give it back to my sweet friend who loaned it to me. Next up is a book to read only after sunset, and for that one I chose The Guernsey Literary and Potato Peel Society. Again, this is a book about books that I am notoriously late getting to. I should have read this many years ago when I first heard about it, I am finally getting around to it, and again, it's one that was borrowed from a friend, so I will be able to give her back her book, and that makes me happy inside. Next up is a book that you discovered through Booktube, and for me, that is Trader's Blade by Sebastian de Castell. Sam over at Sam's Nonsense introduced me to this book. It is also the Shay Geeks Out Book Club Book of the Month, so I thought this Booktubeathon was the perfect time to get that read. I am so excited for this Three Musketeers-ish kind of book. I'm just really enjoying the idea of it and I'm super excited. Okay, so the next three challenges are all met in one book. Those challenges are a favorite author, a book that is older than you, and a book to movie adaptation. For me, that is The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. It has been years since I've read this. I love Tolkien's writing, so I decided this was a great time to reread The Hobbit and truly enjoy it once again. So the last challenge is to read seven books, and I've only shown you four. So I'm going to show you the other three that I plan on reading. Oh wait, there's a fourth. Hold on, let me grab it. Okay, so I'm actually going to do four more books because I'm fairly ambitious and readathons and I get along well. So these are the four that I have picked out. There is a good chance I will get to more. Maybe I won't read one of these. I'm not 100% sure. We'll see how things go. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Blackbird Summer by M. Shotwell. Yeah, Shotwell. I am super excited to read this. This is a gothic romance that has magic mixed in, and it sounds right up my alley. It reminds me of beautiful creatures a little bit in the description, so I am super excited to give this a read. Next up is The Dark Lord of Dirkholm by Diana Wynne-Jones. My sweet friend Dana loaned this to me on the fly one day, and I haven't gotten around to reading it yet, so I do plan on reading this. One, so I can get it back to her, because it's one of her favorites. And two, so I can have a conversation with her about it, and I'm excited. Next up is from my monthly TBR, and that is Plus One by Elizabeth Fama. And this is a sci-fi adventure where the people during the day and the people during the night aren't supposed to interact at all whatsoever. And clearly on the cover, there's a couple that does. And I'm excited to see how that happens or what's going on there. My battery's almost dead, but there's one more book. This is the maybe book. I might wait till after book two with on. But that is The Silence of God by Gail Sears. This was on my monthly TBR. I am excited to get this read and be able to give it back to my friend that loaned it to me. This one is a religious historical fiction based in Russia and the LDS church's founding there. So I am excited to give it a read and enjoy the spiritual experience that this book will most likely be. So guys, those are the eight books that I plan to read during Booktubeathon. If you are participating, let me know in the comments down below what you plan on reading. And let me know if I should participate in the video challenges as well. Talk to you guys soon. Bye!